Next plant is number 55 on your list. This is Carpinus betulus, European hornbeam. So <clears throat> I'm actually standing in front of a Carpinus betulus vestigiata because more than 90%, probably 99% of what you're going to see planted uh, from uh, European hornbeam is going to be uh, fastigiata, and that's because it's obviously more fastigiate, a little tighter, and it fits uh, better. It's essentially, it's just a better street tree. The leaves of uh, Carpinus betulus are alternately arranged. They are serrate or doubly serrate, uh, and they have these nice uh, parallel veins with, uh, that, are, that are really distinctly impressed on the uh, bottom portion. Another good character for, um, for uh, uh, European hornbeam are, are the buds. So the buds are actually, they're, they're really uh, sharp and they're all AWL shaped. Remember that uh, uh, pointy leather working tool? They are imbricate. They have those uh, overlapping shingles. And one of the traits that I, I, I like to think of them, they're, they're like a hand that's sort of uh, uh, bending around the stem. So if you look at the uh, buds on uh, European hornbeam, they're, they're that distinct, very pointy awl shape, and they bend around the stem. So they're, they're sort of tightly oppressed as you're going around the stem. Uh, the uh, the, the uh, seeds, uh, the fruit, and um, uh, they're Samaras in, uh, in, in hop hornbeam, and they're quite unique, called, um, or European hornbeam, excuse me, uh, because they do look like hops, those of you familiar. So take a look at your slides there. Another characteristic that uh, I really like on uh, European hornbeam is the bark. It has this smooth gray bark that tends to be twisting and it's sort of a muscly, sinewy uh, look to it. So a uh, really nice tree. Uh, it will, uh, even the fastigiata does spread with age, um, but it does take a while for it to start uh, getting large like that. But that is uh, Carpinus betulus.